Camera shake, super flexible effect for adding camera shake. Here's a before and here's an after. Directional blur, this can be used to impart a sense of motion to a specific direction. Added to our same car clip, it gives the clip a bit more energy and speed. For the angle parameter, 180 is horizontal left to right blur and 90 is bottom to top vertical blur. Use negative numbers to reverse the directions. Film damage. Again with our car clip here, add that vintage worn out film look to your footage. Lots of control over the damage types and amount that it applies. 3D keyer. The 3D keyer lets us key clips with solid color backgrounds. Make sure the timeline viewer has the open effects overlay turned on and enabled. This should be true for all of these effects. Click and drag on the color to be removed and fine tune as needed. It can also be used to remove a sky for sky replacement. Light rays. Great effect to simulate light rays coming through the fog. Make sure you orient the rays from the source of the sun in your shot. Blanking. Got some vertical cell phone footage, but you need to fill a 16 by 9 frame. Use the blanking effect to fill out the sides of the frame like this. Drop shadow. You can add a drop shadow to pretty much any graphic element that you add to your project. It's great for making things like a logo really pop. Watercolor. The watercolor effect is also great to introduce a scene or a shot as a painting and then keyframe the global blend to convert it to video footage. Grid. The grid effect is great for ensuring your horizon is level or setting up a rule of thirds guide so you can then reframe your shots in post. Video Collage. The video collage effect lets you create an array of different video clips in a grid on the screen at once. A great alternative to split screen, especially when you need more than just a simple two shot split. The video collage makes it much easier to manage multiple shots like this. Hit like if you liked the video and thanks for watching.